What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar. And, uh. Damn, hold on. I don't really do that. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar. I know y'all gonna be complaining. I can't hear you. Let me turn your volume up. Anyway, we got a video today by uh, that boy Will. It's titled, Dude Records Shorty Line to Her Man on the Phone After Getting Clapped. Lord have mercy. That is insane. Let's just get into it. Oh, he came home and he was like, you know, babe, I lost my job. I'm like, all right, cool. So a all month right. later. Making sure they work. All right, bet. Let's go. Like the bills, it was time for the bills or whatever. You know, and I'm like, you know, the bills do, babe, or whatever. And he was like, okay, you know, I'm not working. And and I'm just in a month, like it's all kind of hustles. You could have been doing something or whatever. So I told him, I said, look. If I pay these bills, are you going to pay me the money back? This man had the nerve to tell me, why should I pay my wife back for, for paying our bills? I Whoa, uh, damn. That's a red flag number one. She got upset because she had to pay their bills. She finna leave them. Y'all already know how it is. She finna get ghost on them. Let's I told this man from day one, my money is my money. And his money is our money. My money is my money. And his money is our money. <laughs> Why should I spend my money paying the bills? Like, no, he should have paid me back. So that's when I decided, like, I can't be with this man no more. So. Told y'all. She, she, <laughs> told y'all she, that she's when to get ghost. I had Texas homeboy. Like, we all cool. I Texas homeboy or whatever. You know, we went together. We, we got, we left. We, I met up with him. Wait, you text his homeboy already? He didn't, bruh, she didn't waste no time going to the next, to his homeboy? That's fucked up. And we was, you know, we was chill, we was chilling, we was drinking over there. Let's finish the story. I'm, I'm jumping ahead, but y'all already know what's gonna happen. And I started venting. I started venting, you know, like I started getting emotional. One thing led to the next. I did not purposely mean to do what I did with his See, told y'all. It's just <laughs> can't make this shit up at this point. <laughs> but things happen. Things happen. Like y'all understand what I'm going through. So yes, we don't understand what she was going through. So things happen. You know, his friend ended up giving me some money or whatever, and he was like, "You know, babe, look, don't worry about it. Do handle whatever." The friend already called her babe. You gotta handle. Like. His friend was every single thing I desire in a man. Like, everything I desire in a man. And, you know... Look at Will in the center, y'all. <laughs> ain't nobody trying to hear my side. Ain't nobody... Yeah, she down bad for doing that, though. Real talk. <laughs> See, bro, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, man. The way women look at money, bro, is different than the way a man looks at woman. I mean, money, whenever he's in a relationship. Most men, when they're in a relationship, if they make $100,000, they like this for us. If the woman make $50,000, that's for her. It's really that simple, dog. And I ain't gonna say all women are like that, but a lot of them are like that. And you gotta keep in mind, too, a lot of women mama told them and their daddy told them to make sure they keep a separate account, all kind of money hitting places. That way, you know, if they ever gotta get the hell up out of Dodge, they could get that. So trust me, bro. Um, Just know a lot of women feel just like this. And they will slime you out for another nigga with some money, bro. It's really that simple. And that might be your homeboy. That might be a coworker. It could be a family member, dog. Some of these women grind. If you ever said what's your zodiac sign within like the first few times we didn't talk i'm automatically probably turned off yeah because you about to try to judge me off some preconceived notions and what is that baggage and trauma that's, mm. you that, if you think about it red flag number red. one mm. from that data i'm pulling that you're not able to disassociate one situation <laughs> when a nigga say mm, <laughs> in the middle of the conversation <laughs> Bro, that'd be the funniest thing to be. Situation from another, you generalize everything, and that could be dangerous. Mm -hmm. And you put me in a category that I, you don't even know who I am, what Facts. my personality is, if I act like this person that's an Aquarius or not. But you're trauma dumping on people, and you not even realize you're doing that. You think you're trying to help somebody out. 
No, you're dumping your trauma from a situation on somebody else. Say, bro, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Me personally, I ain't gonna speak for no other man, but I could never take a horoscope, zodiac sign fanatic serious. I just can't do it, dog, because there's too many different conflicting arguments going on in there. And if the shit's so scientific, how come you always sing? Why haven't you found the match made in heaven yet? If cancers and Capricorns are a match made in heaven, then it would seem like all you need to go do is go find you a cancer if you're a Capricorn one. And then they say, okay, well, this relationship ain't worked out because his rising was such and such and this, that, and the third and the time of day he was born in and the angle that the sun was hitting the, ain't the earth and shit like that. Come on, bro. It's a bunch of bullshit, bro. Real talk. It might have some truth to some of that shit, but man, it is not an exact science, bro. If it was. I yeah, that's the thing about it. So the thing, well, he, well, the further explaining the Zodiac stuff, like the scientific stuff on it is true with the whole planets and stuff because our body is 70 percent of water and then when you go into like you know all the different aspects blah blah blah, blah. but that is not a a a uh, hundred percent truce like i look at it as like like say take virgo like that may be like your outlining traits you may have the characteristics between each Virgo or something, but like life still deals you a set of cards, and then what you go through life, and everything you do in life, you know, and just different shit. Like somebody, somebody could lose their parents over here, but then this person just lost their grandparents, stuff like that, or trauma, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Adds on to their life, and then that's how that person becomes. But with the zodiacs, I feel like you get like a uh, base, like a blueprint of like how somebody could be based off their zodiacs and then life adds on like feels in the rest but a lot of people take that shit and just think that's what it is and it's not like that shit is insane but it is a scientific it is some science to it though it's pretty dope if you look into it everybody be having the marriage right now living in bliss I'm If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? Hey, but man, look, I guess shout out to that dude because you definitely put it out there. Now it's a chance that he will find out his girl ain't shit. So excited to meet Drake tonight. Hi. Hey. I'm Unique Stephanie from Instagram, and I'm a rapper, and I just moved out here from Miami. Nice. And you're my crush. Really? Yo, why you said from Instagram? Why is not from real life? It's real life. I'm unique. Someone from Instagram. <laughs> so what's up? You want to be my rich baby daddy? Depends. Do you have a baby daddy right now? Not yet. Not yet? Um, I'm going to swipe right this round. Okay. But if you make it to the last round, then maybe. All right, we're going to see you. All right, we'll see. Oh, my God. I'm so excited wow. to meet Drake. I know he's going to be picking me. And I even brought this marker so he can sign my tick. Hey, Champagne Poppy. Um, I'm Elvira and I do OnlyFans, nice. but I really want you to be my OnlyFans. Could you preview some OnlyFans content for me in the second round? Sure. All right, so I'm gonna swipe right. Okay. For now, we'll see what happens on the second round. Can you sign my tits? All right. Thank you, Poppy. I'm about to meet Drake, like literally, Champagne Poppy. They all fall off a of fake Drake. Don't nobody sit there and look like a second second glance at all in real life in the flesh like i'm about to give you a dive nice to meet you nice to meet you. you don't even have to introduce yourself you know i already know who you is i'm dallas like the city you feel me and i'm putting on for my city um i'm 20 what do you do for work, huh? what do you do for work? i work at some peaks i'm a server so you want to get served? I got you. Like, you want some beer? You want some wings? Like, I got you. Any any game night? Any you? Bro, she talking like she a server. Like, she could just go to the back real quick and go get this nigga a beer or something, bro. Oh, my. God. <laughs> Cena, I got you. Like, any spot in the house, all yours. Everything. All right. If you can make my favorite drink when I go. I got you. You got me? All right. So I'm going to right. Her. I don't really think none of these they are you. If anybody wanna hit body, even sexy, we can. Nobody has yet to notice that this a fake Drake, bruh. That's crazy. Hey, I'm Juicy. I'm a dancer and a schoolgirl. Okay. Multi-talented? 
basically, yeah. You ever danced on a plane before? No. Oh. I'm gonna swipe right on, I'm gonna swipe right right now. So if you make it to the last round, maybe you can dance on my plane. Yeah, no choice but to swipe right. Why do you say that? I mean, nobody f away with me. I'm her, right. yeah. We'll see about that in the last round. Of course. Right. I mean, he didn't have a choice because nobody was gonna get out there with me for him. So it don't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of wrinkle-free brain activity going on in this video. I don't know how you can tell that's not Drake. I don't, I don't understand that. That's kind of crazy to me. It seems like it's obvious, but hey, when you that hard up and you clout chasing and that kind of shit there, I guess you will overlook the details. I ain't gonna lie, I appreciate my homegirls, bro. Y'all, y'all are great reminders and great birth control. Like, y'all, y'all let me know I should not be out this bitch cuffing shit. Said, bro, look, you gonna quickly realize a lot of women ain't shit if you just become friends with them. You know, you getting to learn a lot about them while you waiting on your opportunity to crack up back. That's all it is, because let's be real, you know you waiting to smash. And if you already smash, you keeping her around because it's probably good, right? But, man, I ain't too many dudes out here really uh being friends with women. Real talk. Hey, but listen, since we're on the topic of being friends with women, if you ever want to know how your, uh, if your male best friend is really your friend, watch this next video. I just wanted to interrupt this video to let y'all know that I did a new Pookie Will video yesterday, which was Father's Day. So y'all go check that out real quick. Having a little brother is so weird. You won't hear from them for six weeks and then randomly they'll hit you with a 2 a.m. Hey, what are your thoughts on Ice Spice? Um, and then they'll text you three weeks later. No response or follow up about the Ice Spice question and just tell you that the UV is nine. Um, and they're curious what level... For all the women out there who think they have platonic male friends, this is how a man texts you that has no interest in anything more than just like friendship. Not good morning texts, not do you want to hang out or go get dinner texts, this. Because this is also how guys text each other. Guys don't usually text each other and just like, hey man, what's up? And conversations never end like, I'll talk to you later, just want to stop responding. If you're a girl and you're friend text this it's just your friend but if you're just really text throughout the day back and forth you do and blah 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 there's a grass and for strike nah that's facts because that's exactly how i be texting my sister whenever i text her right and that's how i text my brothers too and my partners and everything like that there ain't no long drawn out messages or nothing like that if it's something that need to be spoken about on the phone then we're gonna do that but i ain't sending paragraphs to my partners and shit like that so that's true that's true yeah i text my sister like that and like my one two female friends that i got that i grew up with i don't be actually i don't be writing long ass paragraphs it'd be like nigga did you see this xyz I bet I'll holler at you later. That's it. That's literally simple. Just <laughs> keep it pushing. Only person I like to have an in depth conversation with is my sister, if that. Yeah, I believe in this. If that's how he responded to your text messages, that dude trying to get you. And if he acting like the bro, then he really look at you like the bro. What's the first thing you would do if you woke up as a girl? I'll let the homies crack. You say you let the homies what? Let the homies crack. All the guys gotta eat. <laughs> Look at his face, bro. He's so dead ass, bro. He's so dead ass. <laughs> Bro.
bro. What is wrong with these niggas, bro? Say, bro, something wrong with this little generation here, bro. I've never in my life imagined no shit like that. Like, this dude said he'll let all of the bros crack. Come on, man. You want to let them crack you right now? Let's be real. That's what he want, man. Because that should never come out your mouth if that's not something that's already brewing up there, bro. That's already been marinating upstairs, man. Come on, man. Boy, if that was my son, boy. <laughs> Atlantic Ocean, that's where he's going. All right, now I just want to know where all the feminists at now. Straight up, where they at? Where they at? Cause this your chance to shine right here. This your time to shine, bro. Go, go register for that draft. <laughs> well, I bet you when war time come around, they gonna be at the house killing, not worried about nothing. Why they brothers, sons, and little nephews and all that kind of shit there go to war. I ain't no real nigga. I'm a father who's never been to jail on you his snitching. kids. You snitching. I ain't never you snitching. Snitch. On, I ain't you never snitch. snitch on your own kids. I'm not. I ain't. I will. You goddamn right. I will. Exactly you goddamn so. right. I snitch on my own son, but I ain't gonna show my pussy hole to my ass hole to my dick hole to get no money. And I hope my daughter don't either, cause she graduated this year at 15, and her daddy bought her a car. She ain't got to go for this no man for a daddy here. Daddy been here since day one. Okay, big ups to the snitches. You got there, I'm right. Make that go big to the quiet. To we go to, we go, yeah. Big up to the father and girl that got to show they <laughs> they hold to try to get some money on OnlyFans. Big up to you. Big up to you, father and bitches that probably been oh, and fucked in ass by one of them perverted uncles. That's oh, why I've you so sexual. Ever. That's why you so promiscuous. No. Yeah, oh, hide God. behind that motherfucking paint. You don't even know him. No, I don't been knowing nothing. I'm just throwing rocks, and if it hit you, holler. If the shoe fit <laughs> well. If it don't, I let mean, it quit. If the glove don't fit. Don't. Yeah, I'm just saying some shit like y'all saying some shit. Ain't we having fun to make content? But I hope my beautiful little daughter don't have to get naked to show up the hole to lay on her back just to try to get on her feet as a woman, and you still can't get on your feet. I hope not either. Don't ever have to I do what y'all about to do. You know what I'm saying? I hope the rest of the young girl, I, know, I hope the rest of the young girl that watching this, yeah, can learn how to create content without burning your pussy to the world. Damn. Trying to sell your body to me right here, touching on me like that shit turned me on. Man, I bypass girl like y'all. Oh man, he struck a nerve with them because everything he just said was 100% actual and factual. They just don't like the delivery. But man, you know, you can't control him. That man gonna say what's on his mind every day, all day, every single time. It ain't even gonna be no day where he don't speak his mind. I've never seen this man not speak his mind, bro. And a lot of times he be right. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna go ahead on and say it, bro. She probably whooping nine out of ten females on the streets. Let's be honest, man. She was throwing them straight down the pipe. None of that wildfire and none of that. I'm talking about sticking and moving. <laughs> say, bro, a lot of people be thinking I'm crazy when I say, man, some females can beat dudes up. Not me, but she can definitely whoop a lot of dudes, especially if you ain't come up like that and you're not cut from that type of cloth. Like, I grew up fighting. Everybody in my neighborhood was fighting. Let's look, y'all know what's down, but a lot of people ain't grew up like that. Girl, bounce them motherfucking titties. Say, let me be one of the first ones to say, don't nobody care about the degrees. I'm just like your boy. That boy said, show them things, man. Because that's what you really wanted us to focus on in the first place. Don't play stupid. Let's be real. We know that's what you wanted us to look at. We care about them damn degrees. You know one thing I don't fucking miss is being asleep and then waking up to some bullshit. What the fuck do you mean, oh, he can have you? Bitch, my bed? Oh, okay, thanks. I don't know who the fuck traumatized you, but bitch, ain't got shit to do with me. You will not take that shit out on me. I actually love my bed. And when I say my bed, oh, I mean just my bed. Don't let him call. Who the fuck you with? You think I'm fucking dumb? Click. Bitch, you, you won't do that shit on this cellular device. But then again, I like to be petty. So I'm be like, you know what? I'll tell you. His first name is Bed. Middle name is With. Last name is Thick Ass Covers. Now, bitch, you put that shit. Now, you tell me who the fuck it is. I don't see how some of y'all deal with that. Because it's people that actually be having to apologize for going to sleep. Are you fucking kidding me? I remember I was talking to this dude. I was doing my own thing anyway. And he was blowing my phone. He said, I'm so sorry for going to sleep. I'm so. What the fuck? Who the fuck be traumatizing y'all? It. You think I'm finna apologize for- Nah, that is real, bro. You can be asleep and people think you cheating and all kinds of shit, bro. And you just sleep, bro. I'm a nigga that like to sleep, so I understand what you coming from, bro. That shit be wild, bro. And you do have to apologize for being asleep. Especially if you got somebody who just 
Bro, it's crazy. How many times I've apologized for being asleep, bro? <laughs> for getting tired and shit. Sometimes it happens. Okay, I get communication, but bitch, sometimes people are tired. And I could be laying in the bed and like texting you, scrolling or on the phone with you, and fall asleep, bro. And don't instantly, bro, be gone and don't know what happened at that. Tired, okay, and, and they want to go to sleep. Shut that toxic shit the fuck up. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna tell you why men be tripping like that because they got women like her. <laughs> that last girl talking about some man who traumatized you. This type of woman traumatizes men. So the next girl, she definitely gonna have to really be like, yeah, I'm really in my bed type shit. Cause dog, too many women out here doing niggas dirty, bro. You know what I'm saying? Good niggas at that. You know what I'm talking about? I do got rights. Nah, it's all right, son. The world need to see how she act cause she crazy. I just can't see my son graduate and give him a gift. That's all I did. You didn't make them by yourself, sweetie. And you ain't raised them by yourself. You know how much money I spend on my son? What prosecutor? That's sad, bro. She got her son crying. And he want to see his daddy on his graduation day. And he, she doing all this. I'm done playing with you. Say, so look, I bought my son a gift for graduation. And look how she acting. Got my son crying because he want to see me. You dragging your son but away. This how, this how I buy both. She dragging her son away. And he kind of trying to see his pops, bro. That's sad as fuck, bro. My bowl of people act. She just, I don't know what's wrong with it. Then she ain't tell nobody about the graduation and she mad I found out. But it's cool. Wait, she ain't tell about the graduation. And see, then that be the same ones to be like, he ain't come to your graduation because he ain't shit. Bro, that's insane. Talking about she got a prosecutor about to lock me up for what? For taking care of my son? Jacob, just stay praying, all right, bro? Love you too, man. Stay, stay praying. Stay prayed up, son. It's going to be all right. Stay prayed up, man. Man, he better run and just go hop in the call of Pops, bro. She wildin'. I love you. That's a mess, man. Man, because I can't see my son graduate. Yeah, bro, a lot of these mothers will definitely use your children against you, bro. They know that's a weak spot. That's like a thorn in your side, bro. They know that, and they're going to use it to their advantage every single time if they bitter and if they are bad people. See, a lot of y'all got baby mamas who are not good people because a good woman, a good person in general, would never deny access, um, you know, to someone's kids. They would never do that. That's not what good people do. You get what I'm saying? That's immoral to deny a son the right to see his father and a father the right to see his son. That's fucked up. Yep, pretty much. If you're thinking about it, I would encourage you don't. Uh, let's see. Anyway, if y'all enjoy this one, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Uh, oh, appreciate all the new subscribers, y'all. We get, we getting there. We almost there. We need to hit. Uh, we need about what? I can't look at it right now. I'm not on YouTube at the moment. But uh, well, I'm on YouTube, but I'm not on my channel. But uh, I think we need like what? 60 more subscribers or something like that they hit 400 and then we so we're like 160 away yeah we need to we need to get to that 500 goal anyway if y'all enjoy this one y'all like comment subscribe i'll be reading the comments bro a lot of y'all toxic so i just you know ignore some of y'all but uh i see y'all. i appreciate y'all even even the toxic ones y'all keep commenting i fuck with y'all i'll holler at y'all later peace out